Hello and welcome back to part two of our World of Maps customizing videos. So this video will have parts th uh, tips number three and four on uh, our, some of our favorite tips on how to customize a, um, a PowerPoint slide and make their job a little bit easier. So uh, in this video we'll be talking about uh, enlarging and reducing and about the snap to grid. So let's rejoin the video and um, uh, get on with the tips. Uh, enlarging and reducing used for the shift key. Uh, I want to take and resize Australia down to a smaller size. So I am going to click over here in the ocean and drag with my mouse all the way around Australia. I'm holding down my mouse button and you'll notice everything inside of that became selected. I will group it like we just learned about. Group. And now I have from instead of all those handles I have just a few handles. So I use mostly the lower right hand uh, handle. Again, I'm going to hold my shift key, we'll keep things proportional, and I can resize Australia to a smaller size. You'll notice the type didn't size. It's not scalable in PowerPoint, but I can get it back to about where it should be. And I'm going to use my formatting palette. I'm going to just change that to seven, hit enter, and you notice the type moved to the right spot um, and now to the right size. One of the things that happens in PowerPoint that, can, that really messes people up is that the default of PowerPoint is that there is a grid that underlying, that lies under each slide. It's called a snap to grid. And it is located, usually, not always, different versions of PowerPoint are different, but in the draw pop-up menu, you'll see right here, snap to grid. Now I have it turned off. Let me turn it on, which is the default, and we'll show you what happens. I would like to pull out this section of Queensland, do something to it. Let's just give it a color. I'll make it blue. But now I'd like to try to put it back where it was. And you'll notice it's very hard to get it to go back. You notice that gap that's in there? I can't seem to get it to fit. Even though I just took it out of there, it won't go back. That's because the snap to grid is on. So if I take and turn that off, now I can slide it right in where it wants to be and everything is fine. It's a great feature. The default is that it's always on. On all our maps we turn it off to make it easier, but if you copy one of our maps into another PowerPoint presentation, it will be on. So just look for it somewhere or search in the help, um, the help, the help box that's in PowerPoint and see if you can find it if you find that you can't get this to go back in. So, Thank you for joining us today. This has been one of our how-to videos. Uh, this has been a two-parter. This is part two. We covered uh, enlarging and reducing and snap to grid. If you check out part one, uh, that's on using the shift key and grouping and ungrouping. So all of our maps, all of our PowerPoint and Illustrator maps are completely editable. Everything is a separate object. As you can see, we have U.S. and world and globes and states and all kinds of stuff. So um, check those out. And um, you can also check out our blog and make sure you sign up right here. Um, sign up for our free mailing list. We send out free tips on... Uh, customizing and uh, that's right there plus any news and stuff that's on our on our map so uh, check that all out and uh, thanks for joining us see you next time